you guys. Ace here with Camp Quas, and we're going to sing uh, a song now written in the word. I've loved this song for a long time. It's a lot of fun. Always fun to be bouncing around uh, in Kuwait and sing this song. So uh, right now, just imagine you're in Kuwait and with your friends, with your cabin leaders, uh, having a good time, uh, sing it written in the word. So uh, join with me if you can. And the good, good word is a message from a God Gonna tell you all about it, how to get to the kingdom The good life Written in the word And the good, good word is a message from a God Gonna tell you all about it, how to get to the kingdom The good life And I love Jesus na 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 And I Well, hey everybody, how are you doing? It's Nippy here. Welcome to my office. Um, it's a little bit of a different summer. I'm sad we don't get to hang out to this year at camp together and have all the fun that we usually do, but this is a, 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 a joy that I get to share with you even in, in this online capacity. So I want to say, even though we live in a crazy world right now where things aren't kind of normal, you guys live in a great time. As you can see, I love collecting toys, and I love superheroes, and I love all kinds of cool stuff. You guys live in a world right now where you have so many great superhero movies coming out all the time. They just keep coming and coming, and they are so good. Now, when I was a kid, and when your parents were kids, and when Ace was a kid, and when Coach was a kid, was not the case. There was very few superhero movies coming out, and the ones that come out, they usually weren't great. Now... That all changed in 1989, when I was eight years old. A movie came out called Batman. And it was the first time Batman was really cool. His suit was all black, and he wasn't dorky, and it wasn't goofy. And I remember thinking, this movie is going to be the best movie. And I was so excited all summer. And, and there wasn't a bunch of movies that summer. That was the movie. That was the one that came out that we were all about. And I went with my dad, and I saw it, and it was incredible. Now, because I'm a toy guy... I wanted to have that Batman action figure from the movie. And they came out and they were awesome. But this was in June I saw this movie. And my parents, much like lots of your parents, the famous words were, well, wait for Christmas. Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. And all I wanted for Christmas that year was the Batman movie action figure. And that Christmas morning, boom, there he was under the tree. He was awesome. He was all in black. He looked cool for the first time ever. It was incredible, and I had it. And I got this, and I got the Joker, and I got the Batmobile. It was the greatest Christmas maybe of all time. Now, this Batman is maybe one of my top three favorite toys of all time. And I played and played and played and played with it, 
and I kind of wore him out. This is not a mint condition action figure. His belt used to come zipping out and he climbed buildings and, and things like that. Does not do that anymore. My, I, it is glued in place because it does not work. This is not the original cape that came with it. Uh, my mom had to make me several capes because I kept breaking them and losing them because Batman would go on some serious adventures, you see. And uh, you know, the paint's coming off of his ears and his legs are a little bit loose and he doesn't stand up super well anymore. But I loved this toy. I loved playing with it. It was, it was never not cool to me. To the point where now, I still keep it on my desk because it's so cool and I like seeing it and it reminds me of a childhood and it reminds me of, of a time when this was the coolest thing on the planet. So I'm gonna put him right back here on my desk. He lives on here right beside Superman. And uh, they stand there and they fight crime together. Now, you see, the reason I'm telling you about this old toy <laughs> is that I was reading the Bible and I came across a verse I wanted to share with you guys and an idea. You see, like this Batman is not in mint condition and it's got some pieces that are glued to back together and uh, it's, it's seen some better days. It doesn't make me like it any less. It doesn't make me love it any less. And the Bible talks about, uh, in a number of places, but in one verse I was reading I'm going to share with you, in 2 Corinthians verse 9, Paul is, is writing and he says, <clears throat> uh, where is it here? There it is. It says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly for my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So what's going on there is that Paul is, is saying, it's not about how good Paul is. It's not about all the great things that Paul can do, but it's Christ's grace is sufficient. It's Christ's power in us that makes us able to do incredible things for God. And sometimes we can do things that maybe aren't the best and we can feel super bad about that, or things can be done to us that make us feel bad or make us feel not the best. And we can feel sometimes like we're not really worth all that much. We can feel bad about who we are. But the Bible tells us that God made us and he loves us and it's not about being perfect. We don't need to be perfect to be loved by God. God loves us exactly where we are and he wants us to pursue him and we have our faith in God. It's not about how good we can be, but about how great Christ can be through us and how we can represent Christ. So just like this Batman is not in perfect shape He's not, all his parts aren't working together. He's not the best he's ever been. I don't love him any less than the day, first day I got him. And no matter what you do, nothing can make Jesus stop loving you, caring for you, and wanting to use you in his kingdom. I just wanted to share that with you today.